Investigation, please. Uh, Blair Kirkhoff. <coughs> Excuse me. Blair Kirkhoff with the Kansas City Star. Bruce, does, <laughs> does Wesley go from being a 12-point guy to a 15- or 16-point guy? Or do you need that to happen? Well, it would be nice, uh, obviously, if you have that consistency. As long as he's shooting 50% and makes, you know, 40 from three and doesn't, you know, putting up tough shots. But, he, I mean, you'll be shocked if you haven't seen him. You know, his, he just... He put the time in, the discipline to really work on a shot. Uh, you know, Saturday we had a scrimmage, 20 some minutes. He had four threes. He had four threes in the scrimmage before that. And, you know, my big thing is with him, if he wants to stay at 15, he's got to still do the things he did last year and, 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 and it, throughout his career. You know, getting out in transition, using his athleticism, getting a couple putbacks, uh, getting to the free throw line, making his free throws at a, you know, 75% clip. You know, that that will supplement, because there's, everybody has bad shooting days. And, they, and he's, you know, even though he's much improved, I wouldn't say he's a pure shooter yet, but it, it you know, he's going to have to do all those other things and distribute, lead, defend um, and that's that's going to make him special and, and be a leader on our team and help us have a great season got a question on the left rear yeah Bruce Brian Davis from the Austin American Statesman what the way Dean finished the year last year it seems like his arrow was really going up and then then had a tough one there against Kansas in the, in the tournament what did you make of his season finish and what did you talk to him about, hey, this is how you keep your stock rising? Well, I think the big thing, one would be the, the physicality, the his body. And, and he had to get back in the weight room. Um, he had a, two major setbacks last year, had pneumonia, you know, practiced one day out of two weeks over right before the Christmas. So that was mixed in with final exams. And then in the spring, he got the flu and he missed a couple more weeks. So he had to have a good summer in the weight room, uh, eating, taking care of his body. I, I think you'll see he's much stronger, much more physical. That's the that's, uh, you know, first step. The second thing is just being confident and and you know I think he I, I don't think there's any doubt he was intimidated you know to go against George Niang or Perry Ellis guys he grew up watching and all of a sudden there he's out there and, and we keep trying to tell him hey you know you're as good as them you're a good player you got to come up every day and and say I, I I'm better than these guys and play like that and produce it so I guess the the, the confidence and then it just comes down to consistency and you know you you know, rarely you have a freshman that just steps in. Those are the one and done guys. He obviously wasn't quite there, but he was still pretty good, had huge games. You know, here at the Oklahoma State game in the Big 12 tournament, he was big time. Oklahoma, number one team in the country, national TV. You know, we upset them. He's big time. But he just didn't do that consistently. And, and that's got to, that's, you know, part of the whole process and hopefully the next step for him. Question here in the front middle. Thank you, Coach Darren Smith from KLKC Radio. Obviously, you have a very young team. Uh, you have seven freshmen, uh, seven, seven freshmen here and, and four sophomores. How much of a crash course learning will they have uh, when they get into Big 12 play, and how much will you be relying on them to, uh, to offset your, your experience? Well, you know, I'm not sure. We don't really have seven freshmen, but we have, we have three freshmen. We have a bunch of underclass freshmen and sophomores. And, and you know, those, you know, just as I said, those freshmen from last year have to make a big step for us. Um, the new guys, if we can get something out of two or three of those guys, it's going to give us uh, some depth. Uh, and, and I think the big thing, though, is going to be the seniors. You know, it's Wesley, DJ, uh, Corby, Irvin, even our two our walk-ons, uh, the two seniors, but Austin Bud and Zach Winter. Uh, Austin gave us some nice minutes last year. Uh, Zach's been a great leader, you know, just every day coming to practice, energy, the weight room, uh, creating a, a great positive culture um, in our building. So those those guys are going to be the key to make sure everybody else is, is, is doing what they're supposed to. Um, but, I, you know, I, I feel good about them. I, I, you know, my thing, I feel good about our top seven guys. Um, I think they had some experience. Um, you know, they they they've made nice steps. Now, if we're going to be really good, if we're going to live up to those three votes in the top 25 poll, now who's going to be eight and nine, and then are they going to be productive and give us something every game? 
because when you get into foul trouble or you, you, you know you have somebody with the flu or a sprained ankle um, you know you need somebody there to you know that depth uh, makes a difference and, and that's probably our next question as a staff as we move into this first month of the season question on the left this will be the final question for Craig coach Tyler Darling came in radio Manhattan uh, DJ took a pretty major step forward last year, probably bigger than anyone would have expected with him coming off the injury and everything. Is it is he capable of sustaining that or improving on it, even though he might be sharing the minutes a little bit more this year in the middle? Well, I don't think there's any doubt that he, uh, he, he can do it. He can take that nice step, and he's already done it. You know, we... You know, you all of a sudden, you know, last fall he comes to me, he says, Coach, I'm not sure I can do it. I'm not sure it's worth it. 16 months, boots, uh, casts, two surgeries. And, and, you know, I just said, hey, let's slow down. Let's, you know, you, you've spent all this time. Why would you give up on it now? And, and he pushed his way through it. And then all of a sudden, without really practicing, you know, for, for 16, 17 months, He's, he's stuck in there and, and with his athleticism, athleticism, his energy, his passion, he got a lot of stuff done in the Big 12. And now, for the first time from this summer on, he's actually practiced. First time in two years where he goes the whole practice. And, and you know, he's in the gym shooting, uh, you know, extra time. Instead of, instead of being in the training room and getting therapy just so he can so he can be in the game. So I think there's no doubt uh, he's made that nice step. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's improved his shooting, his free throws. Um, I think he can give us not only just the energy he's given us since his freshman year and, and physicality, but he's going to be able to score for us. Uh, hopefully intelligence-wise, basketball-wise, that IQ part of it is, is, is he's taking a step. Um, and, you know, I, he's, I don't know if he'll share minutes, but, you know, I'm hoping for a good 28, 30 minutes from him every game and being very productive. Okay, Coach, thank you very much for your comments and good luck for the season. Thank you.